Okay, this is going to be a test of how much solar we get during winter months. I am using my Pecron E1500. I'm at 76% right now. I'll be using the Bouge RV 130 watt panel and the Pecron 330 watt panel. Their new version is 300 watts, but this one was 330. Okay, this is Phoenix and it is uh, about November 11th. And I'm going up to show the sun and where that is. It's pretty high. And that is almost due south. I'm looking due south right there. All right. Let's set them up. Pecron's got a little uh, pocket with the wires. And I've got everything set here. And the bouge has the same. Okay, you can see that uh, the angles are lined up. And then you can see when I put a box on there that I have just the slightest little bit of uh, sun shadow showing which means that it needs to come up just an inch or so more two inches to be completely perpendicular I'll adjust that all right it took about 15-20 uh, seconds for the MPPT to recognize it peaked up there 287 285 286, it's going up and down between uh, about 285 and the 270s. All right, as it heats up, that power will drop off. Okay, there we go. I've tested the uh, 130 and I've got it parallel to the sun. And I've tested the shadow with that box. So we're both perpendicular to the sun. Let's plug that in and see. Right now, we're getting 269 out of the big one. And now we'll go into this and see what that takes okay with both of them plugged in we're getting 366 watts and that sounds like this 130 might be getting limited by the 100 watt input here all right because we had about 266 on this so let's see if i unplug the uh main one what i get down to if it drops down to Yeah, okay, I'm getting maximum power in, so I am being limited right now by the 100-watt input. But it's only a 130-watt panel, so that's really good power. And you can see the difference here. This one is more of a, uh, it's not super, th it's like a more of a permanent um, rigid panel. So... You get more power output from the rigid than you do from the flexible. So this is 130 watts, and I'm definitely getting the full 100. That's what it peaks out at, 99. All right, we're looking at uh, 360 watts or so with both of them. Now let's put them flat and see what we get. Okay, the pedals are laying flat now, and we're down to 211. So this is the difference, 360, 366 down to 211 um, watts laying flat. And so this is what you're gonna get on the tune roof, all right? The total between these two, well, like I said, it was getting 366 and the total wattage on this is 460. So angled up, 366 out of 460, but laying flat, 211 out of 460, less than 50%, all right? I'll do that calc. Okay, laying flat, we're only getting 57% of the watts that I was getting when they were perfectly angled to the sun. And when they were angled up, we're only getting 79% of the rated power. Perfect angle, Arizona, perfect highest sun you're gonna get in the country, really, in the winter, is where I am in Arizona. And 79% of rated power. All right, another way to think about this, probably an easier way, is supposed to get 460 watts, laying flat like this, we're getting 211. That's only 46% of rated power, and this is probably the best sun anyone will get in the United States at this time of year, mid-November. Okay, again, Arizona, perfect, not a cloud in the sky, no moisture to block uh, solar radiation. 
So I would plan panels on your roof during the winter, during the middle of the day, that the best you're going to get is, I'd say, at least 50%, but probably down uh, 40% in most areas of the country with good sun. All right. This is the government website for calculating solar energy available at different spots. This is Phoenix, Arizona, and I have a 460 watt system using uh, the thin film flexible. I only put 4% uh, system losses. It's mounted flat, horizontal at zero degrees. It's uh, so the azimuth doesn't matter on that. And now if we go on up here and we look and see uh, in December, we should only get 40 kilowatt hours a day. And in July, we should get 85 kilowatt hours in June, 96. So basically, uh, December, January is a little bit less than 50%, 46% or so of what you're going to get in uh, June, July, 96, 85. All right. And in case I misspoke, that's 96 uh, in June for the entire month. And December, that's 40 for the entire month. So for May and June, 96 divided by 31 days, that's basically three kilowatt hours a day. For December and January, if we take the monthly 40 kilowatt hours divided by 31 days, that's only 1.29 kilowatts a day. And if we divide that by the five hours, that's 250 watts. And what did we get out there? 200 and, 258 watts there. What were we getting? 266. So this is an extremely accurate product. All right, let's take the exact same data. This is a 460 kilowatts of thin film laying horizontal, and we're going to move it up to Boise. All right. So from Phoenix to Boise, they're both clear skies, uh, and it's the only difference is the latitude. Okay, now let's take a look at Boise. The difference is 16 kilowatt hours is all we're getting in a month versus 40. So that's only a third of Phoenix uh, during the December time frame, and in the June, July time frame, 89 to 94. So in the summer, when the earth is tilted towards the sun uh, and the angle is not very low, then the amount of solar in Boise and in Phoenix is roughly the same. But in the winter, that difference from north to south side of the country when the sun is already down a low angle on the horizon makes a huge difference, okay? So in the summer, the whole country is roughly the same from north to south, but only a third up in Boise. Now let's take a look at what that means in December, what you should be expecting. Okay, if we take the December kilowatt hours of 16 for the whole month, divide by 31 days, that's only 0.5 kilowatt hours. Divide that by five good hours a day, 103 watts is the average that you're going to get over a, a five-hour period, all right? So in real, realistically, it'll be less than that. It'll start out less, you know, 50 up to 100, may peak out at 120, 130 for the best hour and then back down. But for the average of the day, 100 watts is all we're getting from a 460-watt array in Boise in December.